It's Vanessa Joy here with Adorama TV and I'm going to show you how to get those epic rain shots. Do you hear my stomach? <laughs> I'm hungry. Feed me. Can I have some nuts please? Ah! Who's going to clean that up? We know it ain't you. So here's a trick to the rain shot. One, it's definitely easier if it's darker outside. It was about two o'clock in the afternoon, so it wasn't that dark for us. So I'll tell you how I did this, but in general, you want to be in the dark and it's raining and it's much easier that way. But if you're not in the dark and it's raining and you need to take a nighttime shot in the middle of the day, like I did here, look for a dark background. I put on a nice long lens, my Canon 135 2.0 so that the background would come closer to my subjects and it would just engulf the whole background. So the rain really shows up on the dark background. I went as high as I could on my shutter speed, 8,000 shutter speed, to really try to get the ambient light as dark as I could. Even with that, I needed it to be darker still, so my ISO was really low and my f-stop was really high. I put the light directly behind them, trying to point it a little bit more towards the groom than the bride, because the bride's dress will easily blow out, especially if she's wearing a veil. So try to point the light more towards the groom. Don't put a modifier on it. Don't put a grid on it. You want this light to spread as much as possible while still hiding behind the couple. Because I was shooting during the day and trying to make it look like it was night, I needed all the power out of my Profoto B1 that I could get. All right, this is what we've got. It's not so bad. There is a little bit of her dress blown out here. Um, we could fix it in post. Honestly, I would have liked to have seen that in camera and done something about it, but it was freezing and raining and they were out there without an umbrella for me. So we're just trying to get this shot as fast as humanly possible. You could also show the light if you want to and get a little bit of flare like I did with these last two images. A Little bit of a personal preference, but if you're gonna do that, the higher aperture, it gets more of a starburst out of it. So it looks fun. I also turned on my B10 with the OCF Beauty Dish to try to get a little bit of light on their faces. I didn't love the way this turned out and they were getting a little bit antsy and absolutely freezing since this wasn't actually rain, it was sleet. So my final shot where it's that nice silhouette of the two of them highlighting all of the rain and this is straight out of camera. The fun part is when I went to go look at this in post later, I realized, hey, I could take this photo and brighten it up about three stops in post and get a completely different look, which was interesting. Mind you though, this is not the cleanest thing to do. You need to get this right in camera. Can I pull this up and make it not a silhouette? Sure, but it's gonna degrade the quality of the image. You're gonna see tons of noise in all of the shadows and you just don't want that. It might look great on Instagram, guys, but the second you print it, your client's gonna to wanna to know why her gorgeous 24 by 36 canvas looks like a muddy piece of crap. I did take some pictures of them walking away just because, you know, we only had them out there for a second, so any little extra thing is great and I can probably brighten these and turn these into black and white and they'll pass as fine, but try to get your main shot right in camera and then anything extra is just a little bit of sweetness on the top. Ah, that was a horror. You have to toss it up. Okay. <laughs> just, it's violent. I don't like it. <laughs> it's in my hair. Looking for more inspiration? Click the link in the description below to download my free posing guide. Hit the subscribe button and the bell to make sure you're notified when new videos pop up here on Adorama TV. Leave some comments, ask your questions. There are no dumb questions and there's no such thing as mean comments. There is such thing as mean comments. I collect the mean comments so I have an excuse to eat ice cream. But seriously, don't be a